Hi there, welcome to Fly Faves. This is such a dumb segment name, but I couldn't think of anything better. And also I wanted to restrict myself to only five products a month. I don't want your wallet to suffer as much as mine does. So we're just gonna go over five things that I've been really liking in April. It's pretty ironic because I haven't been wearing much makeup, but most of these are makeup. <laughs> Let's go. head. <laughs> I have clips for each of these products so you'll see me use them as I talk about them. First thing I have is a skincare product or more like a skincare tool. Real Techniques came out with their under eye treatment duo and what it is is basically you get you get two products in the kit. First of them is this mini under eye reviver and this can be used at room temperature or you can cool it down if you want. I find it very cold even if I just store it in the room. And you use this to, you know, massage your under eyes and depuff them. And for me, this works like wonders. I absolutely love it. Yeah, so my under eyes are extremely dry. So I usually use a serum and also a cream to bring in as much moisture as I can. And this has been really helping me a lot with the puffiness that I get, especially in the morning and in the evening is just, you know, a nice little treat. I usually apply my under eye serum, just as I do in the clip. Then I do a little massage with this little roller ball. And then I go in with like an eye cream or fluid or something a little bit more thicker. Because I find that the serum by itself just usually peels on me and doesn't really act well with my concealers. That's where the other part of the kit comes in. Little reusable under eye patches. <laughs> and what I do with these is I put them on after I put on the eye cream. I just let them sit for a couple minutes and then I just take them off and tap in the rest of the product. And I really find that my under eye dryness is, you know, slightly improving with these. First I thought I'm not gonna use it much, but I actually use these every day and I really, really like them. So if you have very dry under eyes, I would heavily recommend I use them every day. I didn't know I would, but I do and I love them. <laughs> now we have four makeup products. I didn't know there was going to be so much makeup in this video. I usually just do my makeup when I'm on a Zoom call or when I'm going grocery shopping and I want to feel extra or... <laughs> yeah, that's it. Anyway, the first product, you already heard me rave about this in another video. <laughs> this is the Catrice One Step Skin Perfector. You need this if you like lightweight makeup, protection, good ingredients, hydrating products, glowy products and light coverage you need this like this is such a good product i was so surprised how much i like it what it is is basically like a hybrid between a primer moisturizer tinted spf it also has vitamin c and spf 20 and it applies like almost white as you see in the clip and there are little bubbles in the formula which burst and create like the pigmentation if you're looking for something very glowy light coverage that's just gonna give you like this beautiful healthy finish this is it, like this is so nice and it's also very affordable. I haven't been using this as a primer at all because I just think it's such a shame to cover it up with anything because it's so pretty. <laughs> no, it applies really well with your hands, with brushes, with sponges, not so much. I've been using this like non-stop. <laughs> So next product we got is a blush. And you might think like, wh why are you so excited about a blush, right? This is from the brand Shein. And the thing about this brand is that they never really make anything that excites me. But when I saw this blush, I was beyond excited. This is the Shea Powder Rouge in the shade 10. And it's just, look at it, look at it, just look at it. It's an orangey blush with a sheen. Now tell me last time, you saw an orange toned blush in a drugstore, right? Right? So now you get why I was so fucking excited. Yeah, because you don't get these shades in a drugstore ever. For the longest time, I thought I cannot wear blush because there were no blushes like this in my price range. I am wearing it on my cheeks right now, as well as all the other products. It has the most beautiful, like warm, orangey, golden, sheeny, color it's just so pretty it's such a cute shade and it's incredibly affordable i was really surprised at how well this actually blends and it's pigmented just enough this is just the right amount of pigment the price is awesome the shade is beautiful yeah i'm just so excited i had to tell someone so i'm telling you go go and buy it because it's so pretty <laughs> yeah, yeah 
I don't have any palettes today because I haven't been really using eyeshadow palettes. So I've got this little guy over here. This is the Sephora Colorful Special Effects Liquid Eyeshadow. This is the matte one in the shade one. Now, why do I like this? So it is on my eyelid right now with a little bit of some ColourPop Super Shock. It's in this like dusty peachy color, which I really like because it's kind of close to my skin tone, but not too much. You get like this super light wash of color. It blends like a dream. It dries down completely matte and you can layer it to get more pigment really well. So if I need like a super quick look, I'll just, you know, wipe this everywhere in my crease and my lid. And then I just blend it out with a fluffy brush. And if I want more, I go again, blend it out, wait for it to dry and we're done. This is the quickest one and done thing I've ever had. I've actually had this for a really long time now, but I really, really like it. I use it all the time. Cool for that like quick zoom look. <laughs> We're all looking for these days. So I would highly recommend it. I also have a shimmery one of those, but this one just, it just stole the show for me. This one's just awesome. And the last product we have here is a mascara. This might not be like a big shocker because everybody's raving about it right now. This is the Maybelline Sky High Mascara. I wanted to talk about it because I've been using it so much that I managed to almost use it up in two months. My lashes are kind of long, but really thick and there's a lot of them. So it's really hard to get a mascara to like grip them and really lift them up so I don't see them all the time and this one does it and one reason why it does it is that the brush is like super flimsy and it's awesome it kind of moves with your eye what am I saying what am I saying it doesn't like hurt my eyes it's not too big it's just it's just the right mascara I cannot remember the last time I liked a mascara this much and honestly I think this is like the best mascara Maybelline has from all the ones I've tried so that's it uh, those are my five faves for April I hope you get some inspiration to what to pick up next if you go to the drugstore or somewhere else if you want to give any of these a try I would highly recommend they're all pretty awesome so thank you very much for watching consider subscribing if you like this video give it a like and I'll see you in the next one bye why is there a bird on my fucking window I'm, I'm so excited about all of these I'm like <laughs> I did this on like one breath